Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game walkthrough. Today we're playing the game Theosis, a single mode variant, or single player variant, and with me we have Grant here who's going to basically be explaining the game as we go along, so whenever I get, I get a rule wrong, he's going to be my rules lawyer. And in this game, it's going to be me playing as two characters, and then of course the boss having three of their own characters, and during the, after the worker placement mode, there's going to be this battle arena mode, in which you're going to be playing against one of the bosses in the game. There's multiple bosses in the game, uh, but there's two that we we had to choose from. We had this big old dragon boss here looking That's thing. the God Slayer. The actually. God Slayer. Yeah. And then we also have this guy here. That's Apollyon. Apollyon. Wow, that's basically like Lucifer's, uh, one of his names. So that's awesome. We'll be playing against Apollyon though this game. I've already selected my two characters, Garav and Girth. And we're going to be utilizing these characters. Grant will be utilizing the AI characters as well as rolling for the boss. We're going to simply play just one full game as uh, quickly as possible so you get a good idea of how the single mode variant works. Mm -hmm. There's also cooperative against the boss as well. And then, of course, if you want to see our walkthrough for the competitive variant, you can go ahead and check that out as well here. But to begin, I've simply selected two characters. I've given them their full max health. They have each three abilities and then they have three item slots. We start with no gold, but there's gold here. There's also item cards of the different types and varieties. The character here representing the sorceress is going to be a bad guy character and we won't be able to utilize this specific card unfortunately and that's because they're going to always go here during their action. We're also not going to be able to use this thieves guild action because the thieves guild is going to be utilized by the bad guy as well and finally the last bad guy character will be utilizing the highest valued item here after the player's player has gotten his chance to buy whatever he wants. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, not to, yeah. Okay, good. So that is the basic idea of how gameplay is going to walk through. It's going to be six turns here, and then it's going to be um, a number of turns over here. And if we're able to uh, get through here and beat the boss, we win. If the boss defeats us, we lose. It's got a mix of worker placement, uh, tableau management, and then, of course, an arena mode. All right, so let's go ahead and just begin the game, I suppose, right? I've got yeah. my two characters here. My characters count as workers for the worker placement phase. That's right. And all the circles here indicate what I can do on my turn. For instance, since I can pay gold to gain a ritual card, which will help me throughout the arena battle mode. I could also pay gold to gain mana and heal myself. I could go to the market and pay one gold to gain any item here. I could also put my characters on any of these spots here other than this one to gain cards as well as the card's effect, uh, which will be later for the arena mode, as well as the effect of the space, which will be up top here. Also indicates as you move these guys further along, they'll get bonuses, which I think Grant will explain in further detail. Over here is the Thieves Guild. We won't be utilizing that, but basically they'll be rolling the die to affect us as players in some way and finally at the end of every round there's going to be an artifact that drops out that we'll have a chance to bid on against the computer and if we win the bid we'll get to have the item and put it in one of our slots so i guess we're ready to begin right yep so the first worker you place you always have to place on a quest because you're going to be getting a uh, action to build your your hand of actions. Okay, so I guess I'll go ahead and take this werewolf here and I'll put him over here by the Merciful Quest. Uh, I'm going to get to gain three gold, which is pretty nice. Yep. And then I'm also going to get to gain two mana. I'll take two mana and just put it on my character for your abilities I can use later on, right? Yep, you can put it on any character. Any character I want. And awesome. the color of mana doesn't matter, it's just for decoration. I will ignore uh, armor with my ferocity attack. And I will also. Let's do a. Dark Halo, ring attack plus okay, one. Go ahead and grab the card and put that in your hand. Awesome. And then the rest of the face-up cards just go into a discard. Okay, so we only get to take one every round then for the single player variant of the game. So these are all going to disappear. All right, and then after that, I get to place one more character down, which is her, and she can go ahead and buy an item if she wants. Um, hmm, does she have any limits as to what she can buy? Okay, she has to have uh, one or two handers, uh, one or two handers, so no bows for these characters it looks like. So maybe I can take this one here. It'll cost me one gold, right? Yep. But I can go ahead and select this and put it in my slot here. That's going to give me four damage, basically, in a front attack. Yep. And uh, after that, I've done my two moves, right? Yep. In no. which case, the bad guys go. This way in here first, right? Yep. Now, when uh, this guy went here, I moved this, right? Yep. And then when he moves over here and this moves over here. I believe so. And then I steal three gold from a player. Yep. So I would lose the rest of my gold. Yeah. It's always going to steal from the richest player. Well, what? I am the richest player. So, And then after that, he's going to get to take the highest uh, powered item. So which one would he take? Uh, the, one that has the, the one that does the most damage. So there's a four. So I can select either one, right? Yep. I'll, I'll get rid of this one. 
And uh, then he's going to go ahead and go here. And he's going to roll this die, and it'll affect, uh, deal three damage. So which character would it affect? Then since they both have the same amount of health, I just choose? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we'll go with him. Nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, and then after that's done? Then it goes to the next round. So we do the artifacts? Oh yeah, it's the bidding. So this one gets flipped over. And um, I have no gold. But the guy who stole from you had two, so he's going to bid and those two on that. Take this away. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because when you steal gold, you get to keep it. So he takes the gold. He gets rid of the artifact that I no longer have a chance of mm -hmm. obtaining. Dang it, that's not fun. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my characters back now. Yep. And these guys are going to go off their spaces. These are going to flip over. Yep. And we're going to fill in the rest of these slots with the bag, right? Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do for the items is you're going to set those four aside for just a second. Yep. You're going to fill in the new ones. If you get an artifact, you toss it back in the bag. Because artifacts are only supposed to come from the Righteous Quest. This is an artifact, right? Yep. They're only supposed to come from the Righteous Quest or uh, the artifacts. Okay. And, and then put, put those back in the bag. Great. That way you don't get them back to back. All right. And then once again, we begin again, right? Yep. All right. So there's some armor here now. That's pretty useful. Um, all right. Well, the first thing I want to do here is... So getting initiative is not super important for me because I'm always going to have more initiative than the uh, than the computer. But it will give me four gold if I go for that. Dealing damage is that relevant for? Not really. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with this one. I think here. That will move this back. Gain three gold and a random item. Right. Yep. So that will give me one, two, and three gold. Maybe we'll get an artifact from the bag. And I'll take this as well. And then I get a random item from the bag. Yep. Maybe we'll get artifact. Come on, artifact. That's going to be a crossbow. I can't even use that, can I? Mm -mm. So what happens to it? Just goes back in the bag. Oh, that's so sad. No. Okay. And the rest of these cards go as well, right? Yep. All right. And then now the computer. Now, oh, I get to do one more thing, right? Yep, one more thing. Here's your guy. All right. What do I want to do now? I think, I think maybe I go for the mercenary so I can try and get enough gold to get that artifact. Four. That's good. That's good. I like that. So that's going to net me a lot of gold, which may buy me enough gold for the artifact, right? Maybe. Now he's going to go over here, yep. move that, and then do, uh, steal three gold from the player. So he's going to take three gold from mm -hmm. me. Then uh, he's going to go over here and buy the biggest item, which is going to be the sword, unfortunately, which I kind of wish I got. And uh, then he's going to go over here. Let's see what happens to me. Uh, two. Steal two gold. One and... Uh, so that'll be how it works. All right. Now he's got more gold than me. Okay. Well, they're actually... Well, yes and no, because the one character stole two gold and the other character stole three. So you'd only have to beat uh, three gold to do it. Oh, I see. One character stole three. Ones. Okay, so uh, in which case this new artifact pops up now, right? Yep. And all, both of them all put their all. Their they all, they all put in. all their their gold in every time. So I would as well then. If you want. I can get this item then, right? If you have more than uh, more than the four gold. I have four. This is three. Well, because then the second guy steal two gold from you. What did I get? I got four, and I got three, three for, seven. for seven, and I lost... Three and two for five. So oh, I only have two, only gold, have two gold then. Ooh. Okay, so I'd have to just keep this gold. These guys would burn all their gold, right? Yep. But uh, this item would go... I get to keep my gold, though, for later round, right? Yep. Okay, that's okay, then. All right, and then we continue, right? Same yep. thing, same old same. Moving this guy over here and this guy over here. I get my characters back. He moves off. We're going to then flip over these guys here. And from the bag, let's see what new items we get. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's an artifact. And that. And then the rest are going to go back into the bag here. All right. And, all right, so what do you think I should do? What, what should I go for? 
I'm uh. Well, you're I'm, you're gonna need items that deal damage. I am, yeah, because that boss is really gonna be nasty. But I also need cards too, right? Should I go for that? For just get, getting gold and another random item. You could try that, yeah. It's usually oh. usually pretty good. Or or you get uh, nothing. Don't tell me nothing. I'm gonna get something. I'm gonna get. The problem with having a righteous quest. Sometimes they don't give you a. Okay. Oh, it looks like a shield. A shield? She can use a shield. Uh, she will then. Okay, that's not too terrible. And then, um... And that looks like full light resist, I think, too. Yes, that's useful. That's useful. Um, hmm... I'm afraid to try and get more gold, because I feel like they're just going to steal it from me. Well, fortunately, you only need, like, maybe two artifacts. What do you think I should do? You think I should try and go for more gold again? Uh, well, this guy's hurting on items, but is there any good weapons for him? There's a two right there, which is okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Can you get a decent armor for him, maybe? Uh, there's a full, what's that, like, dark resistance, half fire resistance, I think? That's usually what they are, one full resist, one half resist. Should I go for this one? For one? I'm gonna lose my gold, though. Or I could try and go for this artifact by rolling for more gold here. Okay, well then take a take a different action. Let's let's try this again. Come on, don't give me a bad. Ah, oh, no. All right, so uh, this character starts, steals three gold from me. All right, and then um, this character is gonna steal the biggest item, which is weapon, right? Yep. Oh, man, I'm regretting I'm regretting these choices now. And uh, finally over here, please do not steal gold from me. Nothing. Nothing. So I have three and three. What does that mean now? So if you tie, no one gets it. So. Mm, makes me sad. Oh, that was good too. That was good. That's too bad. If I rolled, rolled anything but a one, I would have got it. So he's just going to burn his. And this is going to go. I'll just keep the gold. Might as well, right? Yep. All right. And oh, I also get this card too. Move these guys back off again. Already halfway through this phase. Already. All right, one, two, three. They're giving you a lot of bows. They are, I but I can't you, use them. I think you chose the wrong characters. I can't use them. Looks like I got some other weapons. There's now. a there's there is a one hander there and a flail. All right, let's go ahead and what can I, what do I, should I go for? I want, I want to, tr I'm trying to get, get lucky here and get some items. That's going to well, still net me that. probably flip over the abilities. Are we at that point, right? Yeah, we are. Oh, I should have even looked. Yeah, because, uh. A lot of these abilities can change the game, for de definitely. Ooh, that's low. I don't know if I want that. Okay, they're all fairly the same. They're all the same. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Resurrect a hero. That's a good one. That is a useful one. And that will also net me the three gold still, which counteracts the other one. And a chance at something useful. This is a one-hander worth one damage. I'll take it. It's better than nothing, I guess, right? And, um, I should probably take another item, huh? I was going to say, you should, there's a two-hander there with three damage. Yeah, but unfortunately, she can use a two-hander, but then she wouldn't be able to use that shield. You could use a two-hander. But then he wouldn't be able to use this one, right? Yeah, but that's only got one damage on the other one's got three damage. That's true. You're right. I'll go for that, I think. I think that's a wise idea. That's going to cost me a gold. And this is going to just go, huh? Yeah. It's too bad. That is too bad. All right, same old same. Stealing my money away. Uh, taking the next highest thing. I'm going to make him take this bow away. And then, here we go. Let's see what he does to me. He does a damage, I'm imagining, right? Yep. Three does damage. three damage to my next highest character. Ow. That is devastating right there. Okay. And then flip over this. These are all gone as well. That three gold a turn really uh, was painful for getting those artifacts. Um, I only have two 
gold. Oh, he stole it from me, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, he did, but it goes over here, so he just burns it. I still, dang it, cannot get these artifacts for the life of me. That was a, that was a painful one to lose. Yes, yes it was. <laughs> Thank you very much, commentator. Um, all right, you guys, go on off again. All right. Something good here. So, something good that I can handle not... All right, this is just a bunch of armor here, which might be worth picking up. Let's see what these are too. All right. Blessing. Heroes gain an attack. Opponent inflicts only half damage. Heroes heal one at the end of this turn. That's not bad either, I guess. I think I need to go for more crystals here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this card here. It's also a good, nice healing one. It'll give me two more of these. Um, heal four. And another strike. These are going to go. All right. One more action, Grant. I need help. This is uh, not going as planned. Well... I believe you can also do the quest still, instead of taking these these other actions. You just don't get the, the action cards. That is true. I get my three gold as well. I don't know which quest would be helpful to you. I can go for rituals for the mage tower too, which can That's be true. useful, but it's going to cost me gold. Or I have this armor here that I currently have another character yeah, that can up. I have two characters that can use armor um, well the quest will generate a fair bit of gold so you might have enough to get an artifact should I do this one I mean there's less there's less in there so it's higher likelihood I'm going to be able to and that's I true, still might be able to get the artifact alright I just need an armor it's just too bad that all the ones I want are already out here yep. so I'm just risking it quite Profusely. Oh, that is a artifact bow. Oh, come on. I swear, I don't, I'm just not getting the luck. All right. Um, if you pick the artifact, or the one's going to steal three from me. This is going to just take an, an item. He is going to roll and nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. I'm, I'm looking good for this one. There is an armor right there. And I will spend four to his three. And I will take this armor. All right, where is this going to go? That goes on him, I believe. Yes, it does. Ah, oh, because there's different armor types yep. for each character. It's interesting. All right, these are going to be like in the bag. That's full fire and frost resist with plus one to defense. I like that. All right, one, two, three, four, five. These are two artifacts. This is the last round, so gotta shore up everything there is not a lot of pieces in here and there's artifacts in there galore still I just pulled two out so I know there's artifacts in there this is the last round which is the last remaining set of cards here the righteous quest seems really good in this game though. it seems like it's gonna benefit me but I haven't gotten it's it's also at a cost of getting nothing you know which is kind of making me nervous these guys go here, he goes off, off, there. All right, so these guys go back in the bag. Oh, they, they do go back in the bag. Yeah. Oh, that makes me less interested in that righteous quest. But is there a one-hander? There is a one-hander for two here. Oh, I already have a two-hander there, so I literally can't put anything there anyway. No. Okay, so all I can do is get an armor. You need a full plate. Which is not there either. All right, so what are my options? Heroes successfully defend ranked uh, ranking is increased by one. Oh, defensive ranking increased by one. This is a spell. Take take a discarded power to your hand. Physical void and ice damage is, neflect, is deflected. Uh, heroes heal four damage. Spell attack does not target your heroes. Actually, that take a 
take a one from the discard is, is pretty really, good. Really good. Yeah, I would. Plus, agree. that'll let you steal. There's a four power uh, damage in the steal. Shop. Gain two gold. Steal market. What does that mean? Uh, as that action, you get to take an item for free from the market. Can I use anything in the market though? There's a four damage two hander, which you can replace your. Uh... That is true. All right, that's not too bad. Now I'm gonna get this card here. All right, my final action in the game. Are you going one more righteous quest, or are you gonna play it safe and uh, get a magic righteous quest? quest? One more go. Three more gold, which still might give me... No, it's not going to give me enough to get the artifact, unfortunately. But that's going to give me... Nope, the wrong type of armor. That's too bad. Shame. What a shame, what a shame. C'est la vie. Okay, and then they're going to steal my gold. And then they're going to take an item from here is too bad as well and then they're going to do something nasty to me which i hope is not damage uh that is steal a mana how, well, how does that work is it just he just i just choose one that i lose it yeah all right we'll go ahead and get rid of the dark ring attack okay and then after that this flips over it is a really amazing two-hander that would have been amazing on that character but i was off by one so if i wouldn't have selected that card that i wouldn't have been able to get it but Say la vie, these all burn. I don't need gold anymore, right? No, gold is for initiative, so... Oh, okay, so I'll keep the gold then, uh, but this is going to go away. And then you check the alignments now, that it's the end of the thing. Okay, uh, this will be a zero. You get plus ten gold for each ranking that you're at. Well, I have... Uh, he... Actually, this should be up by one, because I've taken one of these cards. So he would actually have one ranking... Okay, right. so he would get 10 gold, and the other character would get... And then who is... She's the scythe woman. Her. Okay, she would actually not get anything, because she's yep. on the other alignment. Oh, wow. Okay, so she has... Uh, uh, three, three gold. And he has 13, so he would be first. So you put his token right here, and then you put her token right there, and then we'll just put one of these gold tokens to represent the boss. So now I've got my characters here, and uh, my character cards here, yep. and um, I'm just going to take my characters back because now we're going to be utilizing the next board, and we're going to begin to uh, fight uh, the boss here, the basically Lucifer, Satan, right? Apollyon, yep. Apollyon. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so we're back, and now we're going to be showing you the next portion of the game, which is going to be the uh, AI versus the player in the solo player variant yep. mode. And we have the boss in the middle here. He's going to take up seven hexes all on his or her own. And then, of course, we have the turns, which go up here, which is based on how, much tur how many turns we have until the game ends. Yep. And then down here, we have the uh, initiative for the players. Do we need those turn tokens over there? To no, those the are turns? for the, the rituals. Okay, so we just what, what are we using for turn tokens? We'll just, just use a, a gold. Perfect. That works. Okay, and so to begin now, uh, how take do we do Take both it? of your characters and select an entry point. Uh, you can see the three little clusters of dots yep put them put them on uh, the th as a team on the same set of three. Oh, okay yep if there were other players they would do the same as well yep okay and then you start taking your actions okay so what would be my action what would i have options on normally i would be able to use these at certain times during the game yeah, based on if i chose the yeah. mage towers but i did not so we're not getting any of these however they do do certain things like firewall can be placed on the board during any of the turns based on which one you chose and they can help you defeat the boss or harm your enemies in a cooperative or a competitive variant it just really depends and then we have these which are a cone of attacks and whatnot which can be utilized depending on the characters how they're going to do damage so if she does a conal attack it'd go like that um, so, how would I first start off? Well, Grav has a move of five, so you're always going to move first, and okay. then you have uh, several sets of actions that are basically the same as the original Theosis, if you remember those. Yes. So, in this case, we've got uh, him with his move speed of five, so he can go one, two, three, four, and five. Yep. Okay. And then I can choose to utilize a card, right? Yep. Any card I want from my hand? Yep. Yep. And then you're going to discard it when you're done, basically, so you're going to have less and less options available to you. All right. So he's going to have a defense of three plus a die roll of a d4. And 
and we're trying to get rid of these stamina tokens that we have here. Okay, he's got, right now his defense is what? So we got five of these tokens here. Yep. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Should we shuffle them or does it not matter? Uh, they're already shuffled. Well, I'm shuffling them just in case. Okay. And then we look at it, and it tells us what the weaknesses are. That is are. how much damage that you're going to need to do to remove that tile. So I'll need to do two damage to it. Yep. And then it's got a blue symbol, and it's got Those a... Those are the, the resistances. Okay, so it's resistance to black, to blue, and then it's half to yellow and half to whatever that one is. So I believe this is a full dark resist, full cold resist, half light, and half physical. Okay. All right, so this is physical, right? Yeah, everything's physical unless it has a special icon, which it looks like. See, this is fire, or that's light, I think. And then, yep. yep. But unfortunately, he's got half light anyway, so I have to do a physical, right? Which is also half. So we'll go with, um, I think I'm going to go with the one that's going to let me heal a little. Yeah, we'll go for Juvenation. It's It's got a sword for one, and then it's got um, Blessing heals one at the end of the turn. Now, is that only for defense? Uh, blessing you can actually use as without attacking. Uh, there's just one actions you can just bless and st instead I see. of attack. Well, I wanna, I actually want to attack, okay. so maybe I should go with something else then. Yeah, maybe a more powerful attack. Tenacity. So you're going to have two plus... Uh, I'm not sure that's going to be able to beat his defense. I've got four here. That is added to the damage. Oh, only you... added to the damage. Yep. I see. So I actually need to pop. I need to do, have to do four, huh? Mm -hmm. But I don't have anything like that right now other than entangling roots. Yep. Is that enough to do it? Yeah, entangling roots should do it as long as you get a decent roll. All right, so I'll do entangling roots then. That gives me a four, right? Yep. And then I get to roll a d4? Yep. I roll a two. Okay, so he's got a defense of five. Okay. And that compares to your attack of, what's that, two? Or, I mean, sorry, four? Yes. Okay, so that attack was not enough to, to make it through. Oh, okay. What if I would have used something like Ignore Armor for Ferocity? Um, I don't remember how the Ignore Armor ability works. Okay. Uh, de defend, heal four if hit after damage is applied. Hmm, that's, so that's good for defense, I guess. Okay, so I didn't crack his armor, right? Yep. So what is he going to do now, then? Oh, I, do I get another action? Yeah, and now it's your other girl's attack. All right, so she can move uh, three speed. One, two, and three. Now you could now see you could use the blessing because uh, you're out of range. Yep. So I can just go ahead and play this Blessing card here. It's going to heal one damage at the end of the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that'll pump him up one. Well, it's going to be at the end of the turn, so the boss is going to go Oh, the first. boss will attack first. You get okay. one of these tokens. Uh, this signifies I'll be healing at the end of the turn. Okay. All right. All right. So the boss is going to go. First, the boss is going to roll for what ability it's going to do. In this case, it's going to do an Acid Whip. Ooh, so it does damage even on a blank. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, this isn't too bad. This is just a uh, two damage Acid Attack. So it's going to go for basically the closest one. Okay. It's, it's going to try and kill somebody, so I guess it... The, It'd probably be my, my werewolf, I imagine. Yeah. Okay, so... It's one select select plus defense. Four. So I get to select a defense card. What kind of attack is it? It's going to be two acid damage. Which would be, what color? Green? Green. Oh, oof. Alright. I might play my Ungrave. It's got a four defense on it. Mm hmm. It's, it, now it says take a discarded power to your hand. Does that also get added or no? That's a ability. That. I believe that happens. Okay, and then roll. Roll this. Okay. I got a four there. Okay, well, he just rolled uh, 
9 for his attack, so 9 beats your 3. So he's going to hit you for 2 acid damage. How do you roll a 9? He gets uh, 1d4 plus 4 for his uh, attack. Well, that'd be 8 then, right? No, no, no. That, that's just the, the attack, not the damage. Oh, I see. So he, he rolled an attack value of 9. So he would have, what, if he, what would he have had to roll in order for me to not take that damage? Um, Why are you just taking it? Oh, you have plus one to defense on that guy, too. Oh, okay. So that would give, I would have had a five against his nine, then. Mm-hmm. All right, so I take two poison damage? Two acid damage. Two acid damage, okay. Well, that's sad. All right. And then I get to go now? Yep, now you heal one, because it's the end of the round. Does this stay on him, or now it's gone now? Um, I think it's just one. I think it's just one, yeah. Oh, oh so sad. All right, well, all I gotta do is deal two damage. I'm gonna go behind him. I don't know if that makes a difference at all. Entangling roots again for four. And I get to roll this. Yep. Three. For a defense of six. So is that gonna do it for him? I don't think so. I I think that's. So I have I have four attack here, right? Mm -hmm. And then I add an extra D four, right? Which you're not you're seven. adding to the boss's defense. The oh, boss, this is the boss's defense. Yes. I see. So the boss's defense, he's got a five, and I've got a four. The boss then? has a static three defense plus a D four. So. Oh, okay. So I he's got six then, and I only hit I only attacked with four. Yep. So he would have needed to roll a one then. Yeah, he would need to roll a one. Ooh, man, that's gonna be tough to get him then. It's going to be really tough. I don't think I have much else to, to mess with him for that. Alright. Now, other actions you could take is you could discard a card and put a mana crystal on. So maybe later you could use your howl attack for plus one to your uh, attack roll. Alright, so how would I do that then? Um... So, like, instead of attacking, you could have discarded a card to put a mana crystal on, but then you take a damage. It's uh, one of the ways to generate mana. Okay, well, what does she got? She has, I can attack. Wait, she's got her dreadful strike. Oh, that doesn't help very much. It's not going to be very useful. Oh, yeah, you should have taken that one off instead of the dark. I did! Of course! Oh, yeah. Of course, that's exactly right. I have dark hail instead. So she's, But she's only got a plus one, which is still not enough. Well, with this Nova, that'd make it a four, huh? That would be a four, yeah. What about her weapon? Is her weapon any good? She got a four weapon. Just four, four damage. These which would bosses... be that would be enough to deal with her, right? If I got lucky. Yeah, if you got lucky. I mean, I guess I can try, right? And then he's gonna roll for his defense. Yep. He needs a one. No, no. This is what happens when you don't build characters and you just go for try and get all the legendaries. All right, the boss is gonna. And these bosses are really tough too. The boss is gonna come after my werewolf right. again. I feel like. Well, oh yeah, he's gonna try and kill whoever he can. So we'll see. He rolled blade of the night. Yep. It's gonna be two successive attacks. Oh, okay. So the first one's going to deal physical damage, and the second one's going to deal void damage. Now, can I use this regeneration? to def It says defend. Heal four if hit after damage is applied. Um, don't you do that before, and then if you're hit, it triggers? I'm not sure. I wasn't sure. Because it um, says defend. I don't know if you use it as a defend. Um, I can check the glossary while we're... Well, we can Well, you can check after we finish this up then. So okay. he's going to do 1d... Was it 1d4 plus 4 for physical? Yeah, so roll for the first attack. Three. Okay, so that's oh you gotta you gotta play your um, my defensive card. Defensive yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so he rolled seven for his attack. Yeah. So that's gonna hit for three physical. Do you have any physical resist? I don't, not in this character, but I do have a plus one. All oh, right, right. So that was a what, a three defense. Yep. Okay, and then he's gonna hit. He's gonna attack again for a second time. So roll again. How much was the first time? Uh, the first one was three physical damage. Uh oh. Yep. All right, resurrection is all I've got. So when you play your last card, you get the rest of them back in your hand. Yep. And now he's gonna hit you for three void damage. So roll again. Good luck. I think I'm still in trouble. Yeah, that was, that was a six. 
so I die. Grav, Grav is dead. Oh. And you just discarded your resurrection. I know. I can at least resurrect him at some point, though. It was my last card I had left. I was hoping he would kill yeah. me beforehand. Alright, so now I'm just left with Girth. Oh, this is going to be tough here. Alright, what do I want to do? Generate a mana under Dark, dark Attack? Yeah, I think so. By just discarding a card, right? Yeah, I discard uh, maybe you 1-3 or something. Yeah. That'll generate me a mana. Okay. It's also going to take a damage on you. I take a damage? Yeah. Okay. And then it goes to the boss's turn. Oh my gosh. Four. Hell on Earth. It is a ranged attack against all heroes for four fire damage. Um, for five, for what? For four fire damage. Just straight up four fire so, damage? So you're going to play your defense. Four. Discard a power to your hand. And then... Does she have any bonuses to defense? I'll take this one. Oh, she's got the, the light, huh? Yeah, she's got light. That's not gonna help her in this one. Shame. And then... So it's gonna be four fire damage? Ah! Okay. Now it's, uh, your, your characters go. Go with the entangling roots and a plus one. Oh, you don't want to resurrect your other character since you're at one health? Uh, kind of. I want to get at least one down. All right, yeah, I guess I can do that. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I'll do resurrection. It will gain one mana or resurrect a hero to four health. Welcome back. All right. It's, he still gets his turn now, right? right? The boss? Um, yeah, because I think... The Grob guys, was first, so yeah. he was ignored. Okay. All right, boss. What are you going to do to us now? What I've liked so far is the boss has been kind enough to show his different abilities. Yeah, that's nice. Of him. Oh, just an acid whip. All right. He's going for this one. He has to, yeah. He's going to go for the one he's trying to he can kill yeah, he, first. He's going to try and kill somebody if he can. And I'm going to play my, my two anyway, my highest one. Which is is that it's just acid damage, right? Yeah, it's just acid damage. I think he still kills me. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. Both both of your characters have exper and, uh, experienced the embrace of death. All right. And then does he attack again or no? No, no just one. Attack. Just one attack. All right. One, two, three, four, five, or four. He's going for it. Ignores armor. <laughs> All right, boss. No, another four. <laughs> I am not. It's not looking so good here for me. Oh, I, armor's for this, so I don't think it's particularly useful. It isn't. No. Um, he's gonna hit me again for another acid attack. Fortunately, it's only two damage. You gotta play one of your defense cards. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so that's gonna be... What is it for the acid? One, so it's a five versus my one. Yep. Oh, well, my two. two. Yep. My two. So I still take two damage. <laughs> I could try and resurrect again. But we are our turns have been running down, too. Yeah. So we're probably on, like, the fifth or sixth turn now. I believe that's about right. Well, he did Acid Whip, Blade of the Night, Hell on Earth, and two more Acid Whips. So we're on the sixth turn. Yeah. All right. One. Nope. <laughs> Build your characters better. That's right. All right. Um, let's see what he does to us. Just another Acid Whip. All right, all he's, right. He's, he's being nice. No, I, I can't. Even with a four, I don't think. Well, that's a five. A five, okay. There you go. You blocked it. Success! Success! Howl of Triumph. Uh, 
entangling roots again. <laughs> oh no. He rolls really well. I can't get him to roll. Alright, what is that one? Demonic haste. Uh, so any damage you would dealt to him is reflected back, back to, to me. You. Okay, so I'm going to play I play Resurrection. Oh, sorry, actually, these all get shuffled, and um, when you attack, it reveals his uh, his actual resistance. Oh, I see. And that lasts until his next uh, his next action. All right. Well, I play my Resurrection, then I guess. It's a good way to bring her back into the game. I believe they get resurrected right next to you. I like that. Um, I'll just play my Rejuve to heal somebody up. He actually survives. So he gets his two back. And then uh, the boss is going to get to go now. Yep. Sword. Devour the soul. If this attack is successful, he kills the hero, and it can't be resurrected, and he gains a stamina tile. Oh no! Okay. And one d4 plus four. Seven for his attack. And he'd be picking this one here, huh? Yep. Alright, he devoured my Garav, I can't regenerate him now. Man, this guy is tough! Goodbye, Garav. Goodbye. So long. You Goodbye. tried your hardest. Alright. Plus four and my last plus one again. Alright. What do I need? I've got... So I've got five. I wish I had a plus one on that sword. It would have been so useful. So it's just, a, it's just straight up five, right? And he's got a defense of three plus the die roll. Yep. So you tie it. So I you do. Win. I do win. I win a combat. Uh, then we check damage, right? Okay. So you don't get any bonus damage from the combat since it was five to five. Right. Um, but you have four damage on your weapon. And I believe that was a dark attack. So dark is half damage for four, right? Yep. Which is still enough to get it down, Two, right? Yep. Yeah. So you knock off. I finally knocked off one. And then we forgot to add the the extra stamina. Thing <laughs> because from... he killed somebody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now these get revealed though, anyway, right? Uh, yeah, because he did his next action, right? Okay. Or they get revealed after he does his uh, next attack. Yeah. Well, we got at least one down. He's gonna do his attack again now, though. That is just just acid whip. Uh, two damage. I, I can't even, even with my four, right? That's still well, you, don't, you don't have any armor on that. Oh, you do four? Yeah, it's not, it's not going to be enough. It's still not going to be enough. doesn't matter. I should just get rid of a card I don't really need. Let's get rid of this, this one here. I take the two damage, though. All right. I kind of, I kind of have to discard to gain, well... I can guess I can discard this to gain a mana, so it won't cost a damage. It won't cost me a damage. Uh, this is the last round of the game anyway, though. Yep. Four. Hell four. on Earth. Hell on Earth. Play my four defense on it. One D4 plus four. Eight. All right. How much damage is it? Four fire damage. Yeah, that's going to do it for me. All right. Wham! Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> well, I survived longer than I thought I would. I did not know how long I was going to survive with this, but uh, I definitely, as I was playing uh, the first portion of the game, I was making some poor choices, I wasn't burying myself enough, and it ended up costing me. Uh, a lot of the artifacts that I wanted to get, I was either one or two gold off because I was trying to pull just a little bit, but uh, Overall, I really enjoyed myself. It, it, that plus two axe with the five damage. Would that would have so. It would, you could. I, I just saw all the moves that could have um, done it for me. It would have helped me survive this. But alas, no, no, uh, no goodness for me. I was not able to defeat him. Uh, fun overall, an enjoyable little uh, solo game that you can play with multiplayer and all that. This is the uh, solo variant of Theosis, along with the expansion. If you're interested in taking a look at it, you can go down. 
link in the description below and see it currently on Kickstarter. Hope you guys had a little bit, a little bit of fun with us. Hopefully you guys will do better. Yeah, hopefully you'll do better than us. And uh, we look forward to seeing see you guys next time. time.